Today, I'm going to be showing you new meta CS2 Pro nades where I collected them from watching many pro matches, so let's get started. G2 are going to pop into the B site using this nade set from Monsi, who first is going to throw the B God Flash, then from the same position, he's going to throw a very fast Coffin Smoke. Hooksy P90 Rush B using this Molotov from Niku who Molotov's top car and Hooksy is going to disregard the Molotov and run through it surprising JL. Next time you are retaking A, learn this nade set from Alexei B who is first going to throw a smoke that allows him to entry into sight that gives cover, then he follows up with a backside Molotov and flash to go through. The smoke blocks off vision from any T's towards pit and then the Molotov will take care of anyone towards this backside here and allows him to go through on top of the box, even covers the corner. Rops has the best mid spawn, crosses into apartments very fast to try to peek and push out but decides not to and he throws a defensive smoke and he's actually going to go through the smoke towards the opposite end here of Boiler and catches the T right there. Interesting play from Rops here where he goes into Boiler, jump spots second mid, jumps around and you're going to see that he does find a timing where he could sneak through and hide behind this wall to watch both sides as well as the jump up. You can see Volt here is going to be jiggle peeking it. The angle and position how he's peeking it does give that timing for Rops to get behind that wall, which Volt does not know. Instant phase mid smoke at the start of the round, then you're going to have Rops get boosted by Rain to do this off angle peek and holding T stairs after Rops breaks open the smoke but they don't spot anybody. Interesting off angle from Rain towards short because he has the advantage if the T's walk up by where he can spot the shadow. Spinks has a set wall bang in order to take care of any CTs that are on top of balcony above short but you can see that Yabby is pushed up. Blame F smokes top mid from mid, crouch in front of the small wall, aim at that bottom of the line, then W jump throw. This smoke lands very deep and even covers the cubby here. This is how Apex throws his mid nades. He simply wings the left side mid smoke, then he has his set Molotov where he aims above that corner of the wall there. This is how Mezzi as well as Wonderful Smoke Moto stand with that middle of that white wall, aim below that brown mark on the rooftop of the arch there, then left click throw. If you want to 100% win the post plant on the A site, go ahead and position yourself inside apartments and then you can easily flank up short when the CTs go by. Now if you have a CT setup at the start of the round where Wonderful drops his nade here for Ima who is going to double nade the instant window smoke thrown from G2 and Wonderful gets one frag from it and then Ima after throwing the second nade is going to follow it up and help out as the smoke is still broken and he himself gets a frag as well. And you see Wonderful even is able to throw a top mid box Molotov. All the tier 1 pro teams are throwing this top mid smoke, stand next to his trash can, aim at the tip of antenna, then left click throw. The smoke bounces off the stairs and gives you full cover from window as well as connector. G2 are running away to save and Monsi holds this very tight angle that I was not aware of that you can see towards jungle. The most common way pro teams are smoking off A stairs from Fountain is using this lineup here. If you do W jump throw, it goes a little bit further. Check out this play from Bit. He's going to flash to safely peak connector. Then he is going to set up to throw a smoke for the door. Comes out with the smoke towards the right side behind the cover, giving him a nice little one way. JT who's pushed up short comes around the corner not expecting Bit to be there. If you want to set your teammate up to peak monster at the start, throw this flash from Major and you see the T get super blind. Let me show you this aggressive CT setup from Eternal Fire that's inspired by complexity. So you're going to see Major throw the top stair smoke followed up with the fountain flash. Centaurus is going to push up behind the smoke. Then Major gets behind the trash can, breaks open the smoke, and Centaurus is only able to get one. One meta when it comes to trying to deal with this aggressive CT smoke is to boost over the smoke and you can do that safely if you have a teammate throw a flash over the wall. This flash will be super effective for mid if any CTs are trying to peak the boost. Hooksy and Nico are inside connector at the start of the round. Hooksy has his flash lineup set and then he is going to throw it right after the first Molotov ends before the second Molotov can land and finds the perfect timing onto Alexi B. Look how Monacy is retaking, he's jump spotting to see if anybody's inside pit, then he just throws this very easy flash off the wall and peeks with the flash as it won't blind him since it lands below the wall and forces any T's inside pit to look away. This is the first time that I've seen this boost on side party run inside CS2 in a pro match, but unfortunately 4A core does not work out for him because Brokey is somehow spotting it. 
Snacks Molotovs off Cheetah Cave, then he's going to ask for this boost to peek over the wall here to look into Cheetah, which he does spot rain but falls off. Matu is going to show us two smokes from inside A main, position as shown, crouch, and for the CT smoke, aim here, then jump throw. Then you're going to stand up for the donut smoke, you're going to aim at this part of the line, jump throw. The reason why you would throw it from inside A main, because then you're closer with your team to come out A. Electronic from T-Spawn at the start of the round is going to throw this elbow smoke that's going to put out the CT's Molotov to put pressure and presence towards mid. However, you see Krimbo disrespects the smoke and goes right through it. Apex from outside A water is going to smoke the B platform for the right side smoke. I think he's using the pin of his smoke afterwards jump throw. The smoke lands on this right side platform, blocking off the full vision here. Vitality have a tactic where they use two Molotovs in order to take cave control. The first one is the standard Molotov that goes inside cave and you're going to see that Zaiwu is able to push behind the Molotov and gets the frag there. Sphinx throws the second Molotov so look how he positions with that line on the wall in the middle of this door. Then he's going to put his crosser here at this wall then jump throw. The idea behind these two Molotovs is to push back any CTs playing inside cave and also to not allow them from playing the top cave outside the doorway to jiggle peek. Hoxie throws the standard B platform Molotov but before he actually entries out connector, Mossy is going to throw this perfect flash that is going to land behind the wall and it's going to blind anyone back sight. The Molotov is going to force Hetrick out of position and then the flash comes in perfectly setting up Hoxie. In the last video, I showed Config trying to Molotov off in front of Cave and Connector. However, his Molotov misses. Mantu is going to show you the right way and it involves using the same lineup as the right platform smoke. Boomer shows us a new lineup for CT smoke. Stand in between the two smokes. He crouches, aims at this part below the line, then left click throw. You could also stand and left click throw. Last week, I showed JBA having two nades to nade off camera. Here we have Krimbo with two nades nading off the jiggle peak here. Go out mid to camera safely using this smoke from Electronic. He is going to W jump throw. The smoke lands deep, blocking off the mid temple side. Tessus shows us a smoke that he throws from CT spawn that is going to land on this bottom stairs platform here and it's going to block off the stairs as well as this side of the canals allowing Heroic to push out. The smoke blocks off the position and angle that any T offers try to hide behind that canals wall in the middle of the archway. Vitelli have a CT setup where you're going to see Flames Molotov off a main. Then he has two HE nades that he's throwing for T stairs that's going to soften up any T oppers. And while the second nade is being thrown, Apex is going to peek from bridge. Don't miss out on these insane pro tips, tricks, nades by subscribing to the channel. I put out these types of videos once a week, so don't miss out and subscribe.